Hello everyone, welcome to 24 NEET. I am back with a series of formulae of physics. I think it is most important for the students to having all physics formula in one place. So I will start from there and will continue chapter wise. Okay. So the first topic is dimension. That is how to find dimensional formula. So without wasting time, let us start. There are seven fundamental units, mass, length, time, temperature, electric current, luminous intensity and amount of substance and two supplement units that is that is plane angle and solid angle. Okay, these two are supplementary units. So we will talk about fundamental units. Okay. So the first is length the unit of length meter and the symbol is small m and the dimensional formula is l like this mass kilogram kg and dimension m time second s and dimension t electric current ampere it is a or i okay Temperature Kelvin K K or theta amount of substance mole 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 luminous intensity its unit is candela C D and the dimensional formula is C D. Okay. So these all are seven fundamental quantities by which we make all the formulas and dimensional formula. Okay. Now, if you want to form dimensional formula, so you should know the basic formula. For example, velocity. Do you know the formula of velocity? It is displacement upon time. So, displacement is length because it is measured by meter etc. And the time is time. Okay. So, the dimensional formula of length. What is the dimensional formula of length? It is L. And what is the dimensional formula of time? It is T. Okay. So, it is L and this T is here minus 1. Okay. We can write this like this M0 L T minus 1. This is the dimensional formula of velocity. So, because if you do not know the basic formula, so you cannot find dimensional formula. So, you should know the basic formulas of all the quantities. Okay. So, now we will find for acceleration. Okay. Acceleration is equal to velocity upon time. Okay. So, we already find the formula of velocity, dimensional formula for velocity is m0 l t minus 1. From here, we can write the formula directly m l t minus 1 upon t is equal to m naught l and t minus 2. Okay. This is the formula for acceleration, but we have another idea from where we dissect velocity into displacement upon time, and then we let I'll I'll do this for you. Okay, so acceleration is equal to 
velocity upon time is velocity a fundamental quantity no so first we break velocity okay velocity is equal to displacement upon time and what is the displacement it is length okay so it is l upon t now come to come there and l upon t and because this time is also here so into t is equal to l t minus 2 we can write this m not l t minus 2 okay this basic of physics and you should know this so now the next is um, what we take we take force okay force what is the formula of force mass into acceleration okay so um, is mass fundamental quantity yes it is fundamental and the acceleration no it is not a fundamental quantity so, so break the acceleration into fundamental quantities okay so mass into distance upon time square because velocity is equal to distance upon time and acceleration is equal to distance upon time square so from there okay so what is the dimensional formula for this for mass m distance l and because time is on the bottom so it is t minus 2 okay so the dimensional formula for force is equal to m l t minus 2 so this is the dimensional formula for force you can make any dimensional formula by this trick if you will learn small formula this will become very easy to you and you can solve this easily okay just take another example okay hmm, what we take we take pressure pressure is equal to force upon area what is the dimensional formula for force it is mlt minus 2 minus 2 and for area length square okay so this l and this cut this m l minus 1 t minus 2 okay so this is the shortcut let's solve this okay force is equal to mass into acceleration so m l t minus 2 mass m for mass l t minus 2 for acceleration okay and for area it is l into b both are length so it is l square from there we can solve put these values here and solve it okay so this is the dimensional formula for force okay now we take electric charge electric charge is equal to current into time 
the dimensional formula for current is A and for T it is T for time it is T ok so M naught L naught A and T ok this is the dimensional formula for electric charge ok so for this you should learn some basic formulae uh, the only thing that you can perfect in anything is practice so more practice more perfection if you practice again and again then this will on your fingertips you can find dimensional formula in seconds okay then i am leaving we will meet in my next video till then bye thank you